Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. This is Jeff's Garage Adventures. I do a lot of tool reviews, mostly middle of the road, some low and high end sprinkled in, as long as some car tech tips and, uh, tips and repairs. This is a USA made series. Every tool I put in this series is gonna be made in USA. There's gonna be a lot of stuff. I already did some, there's gonna be a lot more to come. I typically do the uh, series format where I, I put 20, 25 different brands against one another. And then I, uh, I have a finale. I buy 99% of my own tools, my own money, so I have no reason to not give an honest review. Yesterday we had a, a video on Harbor Freight. Um, why, I, you know, I, I can afford to buy USA tool. Uh, I can afford to buy a Snap-on tool, yet I still buy some Harbor Freight. And we had a, there was a troll. We had a troll loose on a channel yesterday. He was uh, cutting me up and everybody else up. There was a troll loose. I don't know if you guys saw or not, but all right, getting off of that. Williams is in the house. Sorry about that. Williams is in the house. You know, how could you not have Williams in there, guys? You know, these ratchets are incredible. They're good prices. The prices are starting to go up. I bought a lot of these last year. These are all these six ratchets are well over a year old. And the prices are, are gonna go up. They keep going up, but they're all USA made. All but one are 36 tooth. They're the old snap-on des design as far as uh, this type goes, but we're going to start out with the round head here. We're going to bring the round head up to the table here. The model number on the round head, round head is uh, B-52A. It was around $38 on Amazon. It's a 72-2, uh, 3H drive. I'll leave a link in the description below for all six of these. Williams is in the house. Let's take a gander. Made in USA. Guys, any time I get a chance to buy USA made tools, I do it in a second. There you go. There's the there's the uh, stamping B-52 A USA. I love the old round head nostalgia look. 72 tooth. This is not a bad ratchet. It's got good knurling. It's not a bad price either. $38 for USA made tool. These are all good prices for what they are. All good prices. Uh, USA tools are not cheap, guys. And these are very reasonable. 72 tooth. You ready? This one's not bad at all. This one I've had more than a year. I'm not quite sure how long. I think about a year and a half. I used to have a couple older ones of these. I don't know what happened to them, but they walk away sometimes. But this one is not bad at all. You like the old round head? You want a USA made tool? 72 tooth count? This is not a bad ratchet. Not, not for $38, guys. Let's pick up another one here. I got the little... This one's got the industrial finish. This is the MB-52EHA. Industrial finish for the 36 tooth, one quarter inch drive. This one's five inches long. I don't got a socket in my hand for this one. I don't know why, but I don't know if you can hear it. 36 tooth is a strong tooth count. I don't know if this is going to resist rust or not. I would think it would, but who knows? It all depends on the environment. You know, if you've got a lot of moisture and you're in a uh, on you know you're in a garage it's not uh, climate control control I would think these might get rust I don't know but these are all made in USA guys got that barrel shaped design and this one is uh, this one is five inches long a lot of guys don't like the black uh, finish but I think it's pretty cool and this is his brother this one is also five inches long and this one's a, B, a M Dash 52 EHA 36 tooth quarter inch drive, and this one was around $28, which is the same price. The old snap on design, guys. Any chance I get to buy USA tools, I gobble them up. We should all be doing that, guys. We all complain when they go overseas. Well, all we can do is try our best and do our part and uh, buy as many as we can that fit, that fit our needs. They're out there still, guys. That's why I'm doing this series. This series was much requested. I don't know if you can hear this one or not. I don't have a socket. They do got back drag. That's the only downside to these. You know, even after use, they still had some back drag. But they're a tough, tough design with that 36 tooth. And they're a good looking ratchet. I use this one. You can see scuffs on it. It's just like, it's just like the black industrial one. And the next we got here is we got the flex head. And this one here is. M-52EHFA, 
It was around $30 on Amazon. Also 36 tooth quarter inch drive flex head. This is a nice ratchet. I, I like that traditional barrel shaped handle myself. I like comfort grip. I like hard handles. And I also like just a regular chrome handle. These are strong ratchets. You're in a mood for a strong ratchet and you and you want to buy USA made? How can you you can't go wrong with buying these guys? They got a place in my toolbox. Very, very nice chrome on these. Very, very nice design all together. This one doesn't have a uh, you can tighten it up, but there is no there's no detent ball or so it will probably flap around on you over time. Unless you put a wavy washer maybe in there. But this one's not too bad. I do use this ratchet. I got I got over 150 ratchets, so it's not used daily. But uh, not a bad ratchet. I like the handle on these. And we're going to go to the 3H drive here. And this one, the model number is B52EH. E, uh, I can't see it. Hold on. B, B-52EHLA. Again, 36 2 3 8 drive is 10 inches long. This was around $48 on Amazon. These are great buys, guys. They all got the enclosed heads, by the way, which I love seeing. Listen to that one. I have never took this apart and lubed them. I did one. I think it was the uh, one of the quarter-inch drive ones. These are tough ratchets. They do got some back drag. That's probably the one downside to these ratchets. Other than that, they're little tanks. And being made in USA, I'm for it, man. I just, you know, you can take them apart if you, want, if you want to put some lube in there. I just haven't done it. I did one. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> That's one of the ratchets I got. I've been using that one a little bit. And she's doing pretty good. Not a bad design. It's, again, it's, an old, it's the old snap-on design. And last but not least is the S-52EHLA, also 36 2 fat fish dry, 15 inches long. This one's up around $72. This, one, this is a heavy ratchet. This is a beefy, beefy ratchet, guys. The reverse lever does stick up on these a little bit. It's the old snap-on design. Beefy, beefy ratchets. Looking for a strong ratchet. Here you go. Ready? I love these ratchets. These are definitely, definitely well built. And being made in the USA, that's a no, this was a no-brainer for me. I picked them up as soon as I could. There's a couple other different sizes I might get. I don't know yet, but the price has gone up in the last year. Uh, not a lot, but the price is like everything else that keeps going up. All right, guys, the USA series will continue. I got a bunch more to show. Uh, I got some new stuff you haven't seen. So uh, anybody that's been on the channel for a while, there's some there's some newer stuff that you haven't seen, and there's going to be some you have seen. But I want to keep this series going because I think it's there's going to be a lot of interest in it. And uh, USA is uh, we need to promote these tools. I want to keep these tools in the United States as much as possible, and I'm hoping uh, more come back. We'll see. All right, guys, uh, have a great day. It's hot here in the Berkshires. And uh, stay away from the trolls. <laughs> they're, all, they're all over the place. All right, take care.